everybody and welcome back to Space Dale Radio's Cryptid Tales. My name is Amber Beckrude and today we are going to take a hop, skip, and a jump over to Norway. Yes, today's story doesn't come from Canada or the United States, but it comes all the way from Norway. Well, this time of year and October itself is generally a creepy time of year. Everybody associates it with Halloween, Samhain, and just a ton of other things. So why not have extraterrestrial sightings increasing in the fall? Well, some people speculate that because they do happen in northern climates a lot more often that during the summer times we can't actually see any of these extraterrestrial things happening because it is too light out. But sometimes things just happen during the day too. Yes, that is right. Everything actually in this story happens during both day and nighttime. Now, this occurrence is known as the Heston Lights and it has been happening since at least the 1930s. It is still happening. So, what exactly are they? So over a valley in central Norway, a series of lights have been known to be seen quite frequently, ranging from staying for over an hour to sometimes only appearing for a few seconds, and nobody quite knows exactly what they are. Now, of course, it has many UFO theorists claiming that they are extraterrestrial, but a lot of scientists out there are just explaining it as a weather phenomenon. I want to know what you guys think after we hear all of this information, because I don't know if I buy quite the same things that uh, the regular scientists do. So the Hestalen lights can appear anytime in the daytime or the nighttime, and they have varied in color from yellow, red, to even white and orange. And these lights can go from being super slow and almost taking their time to actually being extremely fast and moving back and forth across the sky. Well, these unusual lights have been reported every single year. Although as of 2010, they say that about 10 to 20 reports of these lights are happening. So they are getting less and less frequent for sure. But does that mean that maybe they've gathered all of the information that they need to know? Who knows? So since 1983, there has actually been a project going on called Project Hestalen, and it has been spurred by UFO Norge and UFO Sweden to try and figure out what these lights are. This project was active as a field investigation project from 1983 to 1985, and then it moved on to another project called the Triangle Project, which was spurred by students, journalists, and uh, engineers, as well as a few other jobs in 1997 to 1998. It was called the Triangle Project because they did end up recording the lights forming a triangle formation and bouncing up and down in the sky. And then in 1998, the Hess Dahlen Automatic Measurement Station set up to measure and track the lights in the sky from there on out. Of course, this left with a couple, left us with a couple of hypotheses and well, they're interesting to say the least. Of course, on one possible explanation, it could be a completely understood combustion of hydrogen, oxygen, and sodium forming in the Earth's atmosphere, which could also be happening due to the large deposits of scadmium in that area. So basically what's happening is the Earth's and minerals and metals in the ground um, is reacting to the electricity of the air and it's just causing a big reaction. And that's kind of the like broken down version of that one. On the second hypothesis, it, it does suggest that these lights are formed by a formation of microscopic crystals um, in the Earth's air that is combining with dust and going through a very long involved process that 
I can't even pronounce some of the words that are being said in there, so I'm not even going to try. But it's causing a reaction to happen and then projecting itself outward, which is why we are seeing them. And the third hypothesis is that there have been some things and some sightings of the lights that have been positively identified as aircrafts, um, mirages, vehicle lights, and other explainable options. Then of course the fourth and final option is that it is still a UFO sighting and it is still going on today. I think it could be both. And I mean that in a way that it could very much be both mirages and man-made explanations, but then it could also still be a UFO. Who's to say that, you know, there isn't something like that out there and that those lights are them collecting information and seeing what we have to offer. I want to know what you guys think, so please do let me know down below in the comments. And have you seen any weird lights in the sky? Have you had any weird interactions and encounters that you just can't explain? I know I always find myself looking up at the night sky, especially at this time of year, and just seeing if maybe, just maybe, I will see something cool. Of course, I want to give a big shout out to Ron Bumblefootthal. Thank you for all of our music here on Spaced Out Radio. And don't forget to sign up for our Space Travelers Club where you can get tons of exclusive backstage things like chat rooms and lots of other cool stuff. Plus, do not forget to follow us on all of our social media as well as my social media. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode.